Milk from Oilers Nation joining us. We'll get you to jump in on the topic quickly, which was, where are you at with kids? Like, I think we've talked about this with them before. Uh, I don't have any that I know about. <laughs> uh, am I no. open to it? Maybe. I don't know. Probably it's up should, in the air. Yeah. Like, I, I yeah. don't know. It's not something I really think about. I like in, having uh, disposable income mm. yeah. and time and being able to do whatever I want. So that's a problem. Pint and spend eight hours at you know on what? A Saturday. Yo, or like on Saturday night, I was at your place, <laughs> yeah. and I don't know what time I got home, but it, by the time I got into a cab, I was greased out, like just in rough well, shape. You and Ryder did the hockey game eleven. Yeah, we did the nation party, and then I ended up back at your place later until watching the Conor McGregor fight. So yeah. I was very impressed. Yeah, it was a shift. <laughs> yeah, I tapped out on the hockey game because I was going to come down to the pint and, and drink with you guys. But then I was like, "No, that's not me." Yeah, you'd I'll be, be asleep by, by five. <laughs> we got Done. we got messy, like we got yeah. banged up, and then the fact that the Oilers were just really bad compounded the problem of everybody just yeah. going to town. Yeah. Well, I'll have a couple more drinks, I guess. <laughs> on that topic um we found something you know all the prop bets and everything you can bet sure. on weird stuff this isn't too weird so but yeah, bodog yeah the, did uh, odds for uh first nhl coach to get fired this season todd mcclellan has the best odds, top of the or game. the worst odds i guess yeah. depending who you are looking at it i always think it's funny after one game that these things come yeah. out yeah. like yes it was a bad game terrible poor effort but come on there's should, 81 to go. Should we be determining the success of the rest of the season based on one t- one game in Sweden, right? I just think it's so interesting how many people wrote them off after one game in Sweden where there's so many distractions yeah. and just random things that are going on. Was there problems? Of course there was. But, yeah. like, come on. 81 games, it's six months. Let's I, We got a long season here. I guess it's the expectations for the team this season. Like, if they do do poorly... Then uh, yeah, he'll get, well, I'm looking yeah, for bright expert. sides no matter what. If they do poorly, then that means probably going to be a clean sweep of management and coaching. True, yeah. it's a terrible thing. Yeah. And if they if they do well, then fantastic. We get to get wasted every two days in April. <laughs> Shirelli is, I think, fans would blame him more for where the Oilers have been over the last couple of years under his, um, you know, under, under his uh, sort of realm. Uh, than McClellan, though, right? Like I would think so. I mean, if you look at what happened this summer, which is virtually nothing. Yeah. Last year, virtually nothing, and expecting a different result. You know, doesn't make sense. <laughs> One thing that was nice in that game in Sweden, Lucic looked pretty good. Lucic looked great. What? Yeah. He did. He, the big man was moving, got a couple of points. He was hitting. He, he had a great game. Yeah. I tuned in a little bit late because I... And I, I remember watching like the, the coverage in the first period, and they talked about Lucic being on the power play and scoring a goal. And I tweeted, I don't mean to be a dick, but why is Lucic on the power <laughs> and play? And then he probably scored. And everybody lit me up. <laughs> but to get their first goal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the big, like of all the Oilers, he was one of the best on, on that specific game. I um my problem with the the whole European thing, like when they go over and play in overseas, I think it's great, uh, but I think they should do it during the preseason because I I don't know if it's fair to the Oilers now to have this condensed schedule to make up for the lost you know um, games, right? And that that's we already have a, a bad travel schedule to begin with, and now we're going to be chewing on this to catch up to the rest in the first you know quarter of the of the season here. You're that's 100% my issue. Right. That's my issue with 100% it. right. They're in Sweden. They don't play again till tomorrow. Yeah. Other teams have already played 15 games by yeah. now it seems like. Uh, Matthews they, has got 30 goals already. Exactly. <laughs> so they play their second yeah. game tomorrow, then they're like every other day for a while. They're going to so have to catch up, right? They're going to have to catch up. So to me, they should do these kind of things either in the preseason like you said or before a break, like right before the Christmas break the or right before the, the All-Star break uh, or that's a good do you know idea. what I mean where there's a week long layover after. There you go. That's what um, I would do. One thing, are they going to be rattled by the, the picket lines that they had to cross in Boston? Did you see that story? I did. I saw that, yeah. <laughs> the, hotel, were, the hotel they're staying at, there's a picket line oh. of the hotel workers, and the Oilers had to cross it to get in. Ooh. So all the workers were yelling at them, scabs. <laughs> Calling them scabs, which is, <laughs> which is kind of funny to me in the sense that they're not going in there to take your jobs, man. They're not they're not scabs, but <laughs> no. forget those details, I, saw that. I guess. No, they're, like that making, is... they're making headlines across like, like Boston. 30, 40, 50 people you don't just 
make uh, adjustments on the fly with yeah. that, right? Like, <laughs> and it's like, do you think they have any control over where they stay? They have no, no. idea where they're staying. Well, they probably have an idea, but it's not them that books the hotel. Oh, there yeah. was a the, the tweet was unbelievable. Another union team, the Oilers, crossed our picket lines. <laughs> Hashtag Yankees suck. <laughs> there we go. Oh, thanks for the visit, my friend. Thanks as always. It's Bag Milk from Oilers Nation.